Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everyone for your ongoing support. I send you love and positive energy every single day and appreciation. And if you're new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. Friday's reading, so today's reading will be a general reading. Mondays are different every week. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. And if you like tarot and like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Taurus. Messages for Taurus, please. All right, so we'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Oracle cards. You've got the Two of Wands, the Hermit, the Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the uh, Temperance here. Sorry, just trying to make adjustment here so you can see everything. Five of Swords, Hanged Man. And the Nine of Wands. Well, I do feel like you got a change in perspective. You got great healing energy here and a new door opening. So if you've had a bit of a conflict, or maybe it's even an internal conflict, kind of an indecision, indecisive kind of thing, you have here Sagittarius and Virgo. You've got water, air, fire, earth. You got all the elements. Um, but I do feel like you've got with this Two of Wands, it may be something to do with a partnership. And for some of you, if you've had a conflict, whether it's a love relationship or a friendship, I do see that healing energy and sort of an enlightenment going on over here. Um, you know, when we start to look at this, might as well put the hermit in the middle where he belongs, right? You know, we see the Archangel Michael here with the spirit of the hermit, which is that, that shaman, right? The deep, deep spiritual energy. And then, of course, the hangman and the illumination around the crown. It's like that illumination around the crown is important. It's sort of that awareness, that awakening that happens that allows things to move forward in a much, much better way, in a much more healed way for those of you that have had some conflict or if there's been some indecision. But the two of wands is a card of growth and expansion and success. We like twos. They are duplication. This also too can be a card of travel too for some of you. You look out into that open vista and it's like that case of wanderlust, wanting to get out there and see it all. It is a card though, like I said, of expansion. He holds the world in his hand and he wants a bigger world. He's a visionary and so is the hangman. So it's that vision quest, being in this place of knowing there's more out there for you. So if you felt a little restless, maybe a little restless, irritable, discontent with the Five of Swords, Nine of Wands combination here, I do see that passing and getting into a much more tranquil state and a, a state too, though, where you're taking some action and taking, you know, not just thinking, but moving forward with this because wands are all about action, their expansion. You, you make the right choices to move forward. So if it's a job with that Ace of Pentacles, you're going to have a new opportunity. Others of you, though, if it's, like I said, if it's a, a relationship issue, there's definitely healing here. And so with the Hermit, the hermetic principle behind this is know thyself, know yourself and you know the universe, but it's really knowing yourself on that deeper level. Sometimes we attract things that aren't truly our heart's desires because our energy is all over the place. And we, and even in tarot, people say, how come the readings change so much? Well, how much does someone's attitude change, you know, especially in an uncertain time? That can change dramatically from one day to the next if there's uncertainty. This is getting back to center. It's being very aware and certain of who you are and being in a place, too, of great support. There's no um, there's no confusion here. There's no wondering here. The, the hermit, though, is, works in solitude intentionally, and it's not isolation. It's not loneliness. It really is a place of feeling accomplished and feeling too, when you're in this energy, it's almost paradoxical because you'll start attracting more people. 
so you may say, God, I tried to, you know, just spend a weekend to myself and I couldn't. They just were coming all over the place, wanting to talk, getting invitations. And it's because they can feel that energy shift. So again, if you're in a conflict with somebody getting into this kind of energy, you'll attract them back. They'll want to talk. They'll want to resolve things. The hermit would be incapable of having conflict, quite frankly. The hermit is one of those energies, too, where there's great humility. So you know when you meet people and you think they could never get into a fight and it's not because they're weak. It's because there's something solid about them. It's that kind of energy, Taurus, that you're into here. Um, so with the Ace of Pentacles, it is a new chapter. It's stable, very stable energy. It is an energy, though, of manifesting. So if it's been a work-related thing for you, I mentioned expansion. This is that new resource, a new door that opens. And again, it can be, as you look out, if you're doing research or trying to figure out how to do something, you want to work for yourself or you're wanting to change jobs in some way, this will elevate you. I mean, that's a big pinnacle, right? Being offered up. That's a, it's a substantial offer. It's long term though, too. And so pinnacles too are about manifesting and they're also about the physical body. So anything to do with th those areas, this is an, a beginning of a very successful cycle. It's a new door opening, but it's long term. It doesn't, it's sustainable. It's not one of those things that you know, it starts to go and then it stops. This is very consistent energy all the way through. So with the Seven of Cups, you've got choices coming in here. Cups are about that great life and the Sevens are all about successful conclusion and alignment. Now this one can have a little bit of that confused energy. And again, I feel like it's that inner turmoil. There's some sort of inner, maybe mental conflict happening. Um, but with the Seven of Cups, you've got great offers here. It's just about using your discernment so that you don't pick something that you'll later say, I don't know why I did that. So meditate, quiet your mind with the spirit of the hermit and the temperance energy and even the hangman too. Be easy about things and know the universe works with you. You're a co-creative entity. So you're creating, it's not like things are just happening to you and you're reacting. You're actually behind the driver's seat. Everything around you is a manifestation from you. You are the cause and everything around you is the effect. And so with the temperance energy here, Archangel Michael, this brings in again more that spiritual energy. He keeps his toe in source energy because he knows that's the source. He knows that everything comes from the divine. It's also an energy of protection. So if you've had some conflict, I do feel like the spirit is coming in to keep you protected emotionally and energetically. If you felt like you've had some toxic people around you, especially, you know, as we get through the holidays, sometimes people feel a bit of an emotional hangover from being around people they don't really want to be around. This may be a turning point too, because you, in this energy, wear the world like a loose fitting garment. You're easy going about things. It is a card too, though, of moderation. So again, I feel like you're going to use good judgment. I hear tempered and redirected with this where you don't just go overboard in any one area. Um, but there is a, you know, there's a path behind this archangel that winds through to that dawn of a new day. The path is not always straight. Sometimes we do make choices that create an adverse impact, but you're still going into this dawn of a new day. You're still headed there anyway. So with this, it's wonderful for healing. As I said earlier, um, if you've got a conflict coming in with this five of swords, I feel like you're attitude is to leave it behind though. Um, somebody here though, I still feel like there's a kind of a need or it's a mental need to have the person admit their the, the part that they were wrong about, have them acknowledge it. And you know, if really if ultimately they don't acknowledge it, it's okay to let it go. There's really, and you may ultimately let them go if that's the case, but I still feel like you have a nice opening here to heal. And so I guess there is a chance here, I'd say, with a five because it's activity, it's mediation. So there may be somebody too here that's helpful along the way that brings in some helpful insight with that hermit energy being here because that definitely is a softening agent. So we've got surrender to win here in the hanged man. And it doesn't mean that we acquiesce to bullshit, okay? It means that... We surrender to source. So again, sometimes we let go of human issues and we let go of people because we're just unlearning from them. And it's, so there's sort of a cost analysis, I think, 
with whoever this is with the the conflict um you know in terms of of being able to trust them again with the hangman he's very open minded he changes his viewpoint and so it illuminates his crown right he um this is too is a, is often associated with the number 4 his legs are in the same shape as the world the dancer of the tarot and so with this so it is a card of having a very open nature and open heart. You may, again, find new people come in and are very attracted to you in this energy. When you're in this energy, people feel like they can talk to you about anything. In terms of relationships, too, you may have this turning point where it really does open a door where you can be a lot more transparent. And in terms of jobs, again, this is an energy where you're very creative. You've got great ideas. So as you search through with that Ace of Pentacles, as new opportunities show up, you're going to be able to kind of go with the flow. It's going to be easy where there's no stress. This is not be, being stressed out about things. So the nine of wands shows up. You don't give up here. You've got a conquering spirit. And even if there's something going on in terms of, you know, a work kind of a situation and it doesn't happen right away, it is on the way with this. And because you've stayed with it, you've stayed the course, you've kept doing those spiritual practices, you're going to see a result with this. If it's something too with... um housing or moving or something like that if you've had some you've had some things that didn't work out with that nine of wands it really was for your best and highest good there's something better here with the two of wands there's expansion coming in and the ace of pentacles too so let's see here what the angels have to say All right, you've got meditation brings answers. I think we had that a few different times, didn't we? Loud and clear. Look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities, they can even happen in your dreams. The universe will communicate to you on any level in any way that you can receive it. So whether it's, um, you know, incidents that just seem strange or it's actual, you know, somebody picking up the phone and calling you. It's up to you, they say. So I do think that may be for people who are experiencing some conflict. They say a year from now, but don't make that don't make that into, oh my God, nothing's going to change. It's really like the changes are in, on the way. And in a year from now, you may look back and say, I can't believe everything that's happened. Because they say, don't stop, Taurus. Good things are on the way. I love you and I'll be back again soon.